Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in the ongoing browser wars, as I posted on Friday, where Google had mentioned that Chrome is now faster than ever, where it had smashed the Speedometer 3 benchmark record, video will be linked. And now it's Microsoft's turn to re-enter the browser wars, where Microsoft now is saying that Edge is the fast smart alternative to Chrome. And that's according to this post by Microsoft, dated the 19th of May this year. Now there's some interesting um, points that Microsoft has given in this article. And first of all, Microsoft says that both Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome are robust and capable web browsers built on the same core technology offering similar website compatibility and features. And that core technology is the Chromium engine, as you may well know. Now, Microsoft says that Edge is your AI-powered browser and has evolved to the needs of web users today with AI-powered capabilities to bring you a fast, more secure, and empowering web experience. Now, they basically ask the question, is it time to choose Edge over Chrome and they say, let's take a look. And they look at four main areas, which I thought were interesting, and I'm just going to share for you in this video. Now, the first area Microsoft focuses on from that post is the AI-powered advantage. We obviously, Microsoft pushes Copilot, where it mentions it, it has intelligent assistance, AI-enhanced shopping, and AI-enhanced gaming, all things that they say Chrome does not have. And then the second category, or the second area, is speed and efficiency. With Microsoft saying that Edge has efficient resource use with the help of memory and CPU management by prioritizing active tabs and employing sleeping tabs to suspend inactive ones, freeing up resources. And then here's an interesting one, where Edge has Windows integration. As a Microsoft product, Edge integrates closely with Microsoft Windows, helping with performance benefits. Now, that one is open to debate and obviously will raise quite a bit of contention, I think, especially that Edge in most areas cannot be uninstalled from the Windows operating system. And then another point under speed and efficiency, Microsoft says, is performance optimization where they mention Startup Boost, which by the way, I leave off in Microsoft Edge. I don't believe this actually helps anything. Obviously that is open to debate, but they say Startup Boost, Sleeping Tabs, and Efficiency Mode work in the background and Browser Essentials help with performance monitoring and optimization. And obviously Browser Essentials, you can also locate from the toolbar or from the main menu and i'll leave a video i posted on that earlier today where microsoft is already splitting up browser essentials into performance and the edge secure network making it two separate components that will also be linked just on a side note and then the fourth area under speed and efficiency the fourth point microsoft says that battery efficiency is the fourth point where sleeping tabs help save power and edges battery saving mode helps minimize background activity helping to conserve laptop battery life. And then the next area Microsoft focuses on, the third area is resource consumption and features, where Microsoft says that Edge has a lightweight performance. The optimized architecture of Edge helps with lower CPU load and overall resource consumption, providing a smooth experience, particularly on low spec devices I think that's going to raise a bit of a question mark because Microsoft Edge out of the box is quite bloated. And you've really got to turn off a lot of settings in Edge, I think, to um, give it a so-called lightweight performance. And I've posted on that as well, how you can de-bloat and speed up Edge. That video will be linked as well because it has helped a lot of folks out. So lightweight performance, I think that's raising a question mark. And built-in productivity is the second point under resource consumption and features, where Microsoft says that it's got features like immersive reader, collections, and vertical tabs. And then the fourth and final area Microsoft brings up is boosting productivity with Microsoft Edge, 
where Edge helps with smooth performance so that add-ons like Microsoft Translator, ad blockers, and password managers work efficiently. And something regarding that I will say in Microsoft's favor regarding that statement is uBlock Origin, as an example, which is an MV2, still works in Microsoft Edge, where in Google Chrome, Google is starting to deprecate MV2 manifest version 2 extensions. And I also posted on that earlier today um, regarding the fact that um, we had more so-called proof that Microsoft wasn't going to deprecate um, uBlock Origin or MV2 extensions. Just go check the video out. I did post it earlier today. So add-on efficiency is the first point under boosting productivity. And then the second point Microsoft says is we have 365 integration and AR tools. But they also mention the AR side where it mentions that Copilot, your AR companion, also helps boost productivity within the Microsoft Edge 365 suit. But that's boosting productivity, the fourth area where Microsoft says that it outdoes Google Chrome. So basically, at the end of the day, Microsoft says, in the Edge versus Chrome debate, Edge is a formidable contender. Now, that's according to this post. And let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that Edge is better than Chrome? Chrome is better than Edge? I know it's an ongoing debate. And this is just the ongoing series of the browser wars. And I thought that was interesting. But as I mentioned earlier, I think Edge out of the box compared to Chrome out of the box, where Microsoft mentions right at the beginning of the article, web browsing speed and reliability can make or break your day. I think Chrome out of the box in that department, in my personal opinion, outdoes Edge. But Microsoft does have a good couple of points to make. And I think that when you finally slim down Microsoft Edge, I think when it comes to speed and reliability, then I think it starts becoming what Microsoft is actually talking about in this article. And obviously that's not mentioned in the AR side of things in the browser where Microsoft is focusing big time. Let me know your thoughts down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.